Hey guys, Aaron here. Remember in this video three months ago when I shot my first 4x5 negatives? Whoa. Well, what's this? 4x5 ectochrome film. Oh yeah. Let's shoot with this. Well, I finally got around to shooting and developing those ectochrome 4x5 slides. So here are the first 4x5 ectochrome slides that I've shot. The first one was of my Christmas tree. It's a bit underexposed, but it still has lots of detail. And since 4x5 can have so much detail, let's zoom in as far as we can. Oh yeah, that's a lot of detail. And here's my other tree with all my childhood ornaments on it. Let's zoom in on this one. Oh yeah, that's... Oh yeah, that's good. Then I drove to a house with lots of Christmas decorations on it. Yeah, for this first shot I kind of bumped the camera, so I took two more shots. This one... And this one. Here's a long exposure shot of the night sky. That's the Orion constellation. Let's zoom in on these stars. Then it was a bright, snowy day. I thought the trees would have lots of detail. You could definitely zoom in all the way and see the ice crystals on it. And this one was an accidental double exposure. I shot at night for about 10 seconds when it was really foggy. That's the street light, and that's the Christmas lights of my house. But the rest of the shot is nice and wintry. Then for my last two shots, I took out my drawings from college. This one is with pastels. It's a nice spooky Halloween drawing skull face on the moon. And this one is a triple self-portrait. I used charcoal, pastels, and oil-based pastels. Yeah, this is what being bipolar is like. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So that was all the 4x5 ectochrome slides that I shot. And there's definitely no 4x5 slide projector, but I could maybe buy like one of those like old school projectors and then just place it on the top. So if you want to shoot another case of these, it's just $70 to buy the film and $50 just to develop because I took these scans with my lens on my macro camera. Isn't shooting on film great?